In this tutorial, we are going to go over how to import a 3DS file. And then from that 3DS file, we're going to learn how to export it as a AOF file in Atlantis object. So what we need to do first is in the dialog from opening a new drawing, we need to choose what type of file we want to import. So we're going to choose 3D Studio Max, and that's a 3DS file format and find this tree here which is called bl02a.3ds and say open. Once you've opened the file you'll be shown a dialog with different settings that you need to set up. So the drawing units are one and they will be converted to whatever units you wish to work in. So I personally work in millimeters and I'm going to convert it to one to one and just say import once the tree is imported you'll see that in the 3D preview we can click and move the view and we can zoom in on that tree. So what we're going to do first is just give the background a sun. So we're just going to choose the halogen in the list. We're then going to go to the object inspector and under scene activate the infinite ground. Then we can type in what height we want that ground to be, so it may be 100, so that's too high. We may actually want it to be 0, and then enter. Okay, that looks good. The next step is we need to go into the light inspector, because with that tree, it automatically brought through a light source with it, so we're going to delete that light. And now you can see the tree there much more easily. If we now hold space bar in the 3D preview, we're just going to zoom in and have a look at the leaves. And the leaves are showing a funny black outline around them. So to turn on the alpha channel, we need to go to the shader inspector. We then need to click on the leaves that we want to modify, and it will be selected in the list over here. We then need to activate the alpha channel. So it says make this color transparent in the texture. So we activate that. And then you're probably wondering to yourself, well, why is the white still behind the black? So the black's disappeared. That means the alpha channel is being turned on. But the shader behind it, which is called leaf coal leaf, is white. So that's what's actually showing that white shader, the basic default material behind the leaves. So in that basic shader, we need to set the transparency to 100%. So now you'll see that the actual alpha channel image is working. So again, we're going to hold space in the preview and move our view so we can see some other leaves. We then need to click on the leaves we want to modify. Down here where we can turn on alpha channel we can make this color transparent, the black color transparent. We then need to go to the material that that image is assigned to and then make that material transparent. You'll see it there fading away the white and now the leaves are just showing only. So a quick way of going through all the leaves because there's quite a lot of them that need to be turned into transparent leaves is if we go to leaf cow we can go to the next tiff and we can turn on the alpha channel there and then make it transparent go to the next leaf turn on alpha channel then make it transparent
Okay, once we've done that, we'll zoom out. So you can see that the leaves actually are showing now, which is really good. The next step we need to do is turn on the sun inspector, the halogen inspector. And let's turn on the shadows. So our tree is now casting shadows. And you just want to set up your sunlight to just show on the tree nicely for the preview that we're going to create. So that looks good. If you want to change the color of those leaves as well before we carry on, you can go to the shader inspector, click on the leaves you want to modify, and then mix a color into those leaves. And you'll see that they'll get a lot darker. So just to show you that before you export it as an object, which we'll cover very shortly, we're just going to set up our seen a bit better now we're going to go to the shaders in the catalog and then go to lawn and in the lawn catalog we're now going to drag a grass material onto the actual ground plane and just looking at that grass it looks like it's very big so that actually may mean that our tree is very small so if you go to the object inspector you'll see under scene size that the actual height of the tree is only 202 millimeters so that's very very small in the units millimeters so we can actually retype what we want the scene to be so it may be 10 meters so that's 10,000 and then enter and that tree will adjust and be a lot bigger then you'll note under coordinates that the coordinates have changed so this is the origin of the actual tree. So what we need to do is set the origin of the tree for when you bring it in as an object in other files. So to do this, we have to go to the 2D view. And here's the 2D view. And you'll see the tree showing here. In the 2D view, we're going to use the camera target to set the origin for the tree. So we need to set that target, click and move it, and you may want to turn on navigate to be able to move a, a little bit more smoothly. We want to zoom in nice and close so we get the center of the trunk. We then need to go to an elevational view and set the camera target at the base of the tree. So it's in the center of the trunk at the base of the tree. Once you're happy with where the target is, we can close the 2D view and then translate origin to the camera target. And you'll see that the ground plane has naturally readjusted itself to the camera target, the zero, zero plane. So the altitude was at zero the ground plane adjusted itself as soon as we said to translate the origin to the camera target. So now let's just change the view so we can see it nicely on screen. So by changing that origin, that part where we actually put the camera target is now going to be the insertion point for the object when we make it. So we've set up everything we needed to. We've got a preview image which shows the tree. We've changed the leaves so they have alpha channel. We've set the size under the object inspector. And then all we need to do from now is go to file and export object and save it into our objects folder. So I'm going to call this tree object and then save 